Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my viewers, returning viewers, and welcome to any new viewers. And I just also want to say how much I really, really appreciate y'all taking y'all's time to watch my videos and how much I enjoy doing these videos for y'all. But if you want to follow me on social media, the links are down below, which will, <coughs> excuse me, which if you go on there, you'll see the items needed for doing the videos each week if you want to do them with me <laughs> so let's get to it and start this project all right y'all so i'm going to go over again what you need for this project you need which i did not put this sorry i did not put this on the list but i'm going to be using wood glue to help hold it together even though i am screwing the stuff in and you're going to need a drill and i'm using my handheld drill that i used on my last two videos i did any drilling on you're gonna need some screws, some small screws. I'm gonna use these right here more than likely. No, the bottom ones. I'll show you when I get to them. But you're gonna need little screws. You're gonna need eight wooden dowels. They come in a pack in the craft section at Dollar Tree. And you're gonna need two round trays. I also got these at Dollar Tree and they came from the $3 section. All right, let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is just to show you I'm going to be doing two together just to make it a little stronger to hold this up while I'm going to do it on four sides. So, I'm going to mark this so I know where I need to drill at. Alright, I'm gonna try this out and see how it works. Alright, so let me put it where you can see it. And I'm just going to drill. And I've got to get it all the way through the wood. It takes a minute because it's not that thin. Give me a second now. Yeah, I knew that would work. I just wanted to see something. So, <clears throat> I had this idea a while back and I hadn't done it. I'm going to use this to put paint in. By the way, y'all can um, paint these woods. I just really like the color, so I didn't want to do anything with it. Y'all can paint them. Y'all can Mod Podge stuff on them. Y'all can stain them just to give them a different color. But I really like these colors. I'm more of a natural look. But, you know, you do what you like. to look at something real quick. <laughs> I'm 
you just keep drilling until you get the hole. You don't have to use the handheld, I just wanted to. Not handheld, manual. Yeah, I clamped it down to help hold it. I keep forgetting I have clamps. And now I'm just gonna drill. Like I said, you just drill it till it goes through. It may take a while. Or you can use a, an actual electric drill. I just, it always jumps on me when I try that, so. Now you're also gonna wanna drill a hole into your dowels. Try to get it in the middle. I'm having technical difficulties. It doesn't want to do what I want it to do. So. Give me a second now. And get it started. You know what? I'm not. It's giving me trouble. I think I can do it without the hole in the dowels, but I'm going to continue to do my drill, my holes in this wood. All right, so the next step is to take and screw each piece in. So and you're going to add wood glue while you're doing it. So let me get this started to show y'all. Ah, I drop everything y'all. Just get it started so it sticks. The screw sticks in there. And it's not going to come out. And then I'm going to take wood glue, like I said. And never used this wood glue yet. Just make sure. And you're going to stick it on there. Into the dowel. I can do it without having technical difficulties here.
and you're gonna keep screwing until you get it tight. Give me a second. All right, so I had technical difficulties difficulties with my smaller um, dowel, so I went and I bought bigger ones, and I'm gonna show and I test it out to make sure it works. But I'm, I'm gonna show you what I had to do with these bigger ones. So as you can see, they are way, way, way too long. So I just take. I measure it in half and they're 12 inches so I take it to the six inch mark spot sorry and I mark it and I'm gonna do that for both of these just to show y'all and see how I already got all the others cut I might as well finish it off And then I'm going to take my murder shears. I absolutely love these, by the way. I bought some from Walmart through third party, and then I got these off of Timu. And these just work so much better. And then I'm just going to cut them in half. See? So much easier. my dowels and then I redrilled the holes but because these are bigger than the ones that I originally did I have to redrill all my holes so let's go with that well not all my holes because I can put it in one of them and then redrill the other one so we're gonna start from there Let me put my screw, make sure you can see, into my hole. All right. Now again, I'm going to be using wood glue just to give it some more holding power. And then I'm going to stick it on there and screw it on in. And like I said, I did drill a hole into my dowels because it was needed. And there we go, now I have it done. So now I just have to drill a hole in the next spot that's needed. So I'm just gonna take my drill, and I ended up using my electric drill because I was having too many problems. And I'm just gonna move my hole over a little bit. There's my hole. So I just gotta do that for each one. And it'll be good as gold. So it shouldn't take too long to do all of this. And then we'll move to the next one. That's 
simple, y'all. And I flip it over so that I have more, I'm able to hold it better while I'm screwing it in. All right, now that the bottom is done, I just real quick did it because it's the same thing over and over and over again. I'm gonna add the top to it and we're gonna go from there. So, let's get this to it. And I'm gonna, of course, add the glue to each spot. getting it on here y'all so that it has spots whoops that is way too big y'all sorry Sorry, y'all, I knocked the camera out of... You get the last one and then I can just start putting them all in there. go ahead and start doing all the others and then I'll finish it up. Right now all I gotta do is completely screw them in. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Let me try to give y'all a better angle. Sorry about the camera. I'm just screwing the screws down. Now that I showed y'all a little, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I'm sorry that this did not work out the way I planned it to work out, and I had to do a little extra.
Give me a second, y'all. screw them in y'all and I added more wood glue so I'm gonna have to go and clean that up I just wanted to make sure I got it where it needed to be This is not easy. <laughs> I mean, it's easy, but it's tiring. Screwing this stuff in. All right. So there we go. I have them in there. Let me tighten the bottom just to make sure. Now that I have the top done. my two-tier tray that I'm gonna put paint in because I need another spot for my paint I need it more organized and that is seriously how easy it is to make one of these <laughs> even though I had difficulties it really is not that hard to do and like I said you can also paint it or Mod Podge it to make it little fun things looks However, y'all might like it. It doesn't really matter. It's to each other's taste, to your own taste. And I happen to like the plain wood. I just, something I've always liked. So I'm gonna leave mine like this, obviously. But there you go. Well, that's it for today's video and I really, really hope y'all enjoyed watching me make this craft or even making it yourselves if y'all followed along because I really really enjoyed it and I want it and I want to thank y'all again I'm sorry for watching my videos and hopefully liking sharing and subscribing to my channel because it really really helps my channel to grow and it shows me that y'all are enjoying what I'm doing so I'm gonna say again if you mess up like I did originally because I thought I could use the smaller dowels and I had to go get bigger dowels, just spackle the holes and you're good to go. All right, I'll see y'all next time, bye.